Tonight, a suspected mass fentanyl overdose is under investigation. Portland Fire responded to eight victims in the North Park blocks early today. Firefighters say they range in age from their late teens to early 20s. Crews took four people to the hospital. We do not know their condition at this time. The other four were given Narcan and refused treatment. First responders tell us they all ingested a powder that was likely laced with fentanyl. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us at 4. I'm Ray Gaswell. And I'm Steve Dunn. Five ambulances responded to the park blocks following this mass overdose. This comes at a time when there's a strain on resources all across the county right now. K2's Megan Ellison joins us live at the park where this all happened. And Megan, what did you see out there today? Yeah, Steve, there was a lot of panic when crews first responded to the playground behind me this morning. Firefighters tell us it was a bystander who first administered Narcan and then called for help. Originally, they thought it was only one person who had overdosed and then realized it was a much bigger problem. Portland Fire tells us they called in every available resource to respond to a mass overdose on Monday. Rick Grave says, unfortunately, these incidents are becoming more common. It's having a significant effect, uh, not only on those that are choosing to use it, but on the entire community that witnesses what goes on. We're normalizing something that probably maybe maybe shouldn't be normalized. I sat down with Commissioner Renee Gonzalez to ask how the city is approaching this crisis. We know this is a problem that's been building all year. What's being done at the city level to address this? Well, there's a big push on what we can work with on, uh, on the criminal justice side with our partners. Um, we started by banning outdoor drug use in the city of Portland as, as a city council. Unfortunately, we have to wait for the state legislature to allow us to enforce that. That's extremely uh, frustrating, but it is the reality of Oregon law currently. Gonzalez says he recognizes resources are limited. Our weakest link right now is just ambulance availability. So when we have to call in five ambulances, we know we're taking them away from the rest of the city. Uh, we've continued to fight for and have preserved fire staffing of 171 per Per day. That's why it's essential in instances like that, like this, that we have redundancy in resources. Portland police tell us through tools like targeted missions, they're trying to adapt as well. Our narcotics and organized crime unit uh, has been alerted to more than 240 overdoses. And to put that um, into context and into perspective, uh, there were around 150 all of last year, and we still have three more months to go this year. These cases are now under investigation. Police tell us this is an epidemic, and they're working with federal partners to address it. We're live in northwest Portland. Megan Allison, K2 News. Megan, thanks for that.